to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so be part of this journey with us. And I want to thank every single one of you that have been with me from the start and that give me the thumbs up and comment and share my videos. Thank you so much. I am grateful to every single one of you. I also would like to mention right up top there's three little buttons. You can click there, slow down the video to the speed you'd like, and there is the CC closed caption. Everything I will be calling out the stitch will be written down here, so it makes it easier for you to pause and take notes. I also would like to mention in the description box there is the link to the uh, slow down the video in case you don't know how to do it. You can just click there. It's a two-minute video. And you can see how it's done. It's very simple and easy, not complicated at all. I also would like to ask you to please, if you like the video, to give those thumbs up for especially newcomers um, that you're new to the channel. It helps the channel to circulate worldwide and it helps other people to recognize and become members. Thank you so much for that. I also would like to mention um, for the people that have extra yarn, extra thread, if you want to give a helping hand to the women in need desperately in need for it please reach out to me either through instagram tiktok my facebook i have a facebook crochet group you can become a member part of it as long as you have a profile on your um, facebook you're more than welcome to request and join in our group we're a beautiful um, little group growing each day i also have a crochet page you can follow me there and you can message me on instagram and um and help to donate there's also a dollar sign below the video you can donate through there whatever you feel like to help out the women or in the description box there's my PayPal account you can do you know give it through there too so I can buy the thread and send them out to them and we are grateful and humble very much so for your kindness and your good heart so please do help okay so we are going to get started i usually use hook 3.5 or 3 a small one for um, tucking in loose ends and a pair of scissors and 99.9 percent .9 my thread is 100 percent cotton thread it's a four ply same thing as aunt lydia number three so we're going to get started everyone thank you so much again for being part of this journey with me Okay, everyone, so today we're going to create a water tank from the toilet. The back uh, part where the water is, where you flush. I don't know the exact name. I'm just going to call it a tank. I've been requested a few times to create that piece to cover it up because I had done the bathroom set for the toilet lid, the rugs, the sink rugs, and so on. So... I am going to create, it's three of these squares, and my lighting is like horrible. Try to cut it down, I think that's better. So it's an off-white, like tan color, royal blue, and uh, lime green. And also, I'm going to teach you this little flower, but I don't know if I will be able to have everything in one video. I probably have to do two videos for that. So we're going to go with the granny square first. We need three of them because this is going to be on top of the lid before we can create the cover. Okay. Most of you should know already how to create a granny square, but there's a lot of new beginners. So we'll just go through the process and, and redo. So I'm going to use the three colors, the beige, because I do have my set, but I, I didn't make the tank cover yet. So we'll do it together since it's been a request a few times. And we're going to get started. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video if you enjoy it. This is um, a five ply, 80% cotton thread, 20% different fibers. So you can um, find or get the macrame thread which is thick the same size as this and um, you can create these pieces okay if you can't find the five ply six ply because this is basically what it is on this brand these are Portugal brands and this is like the macrame thread okay so let's get started everyone so the first thing I'm going to do is that magic circle I'm just trying to lower my lighting here because it automatically goes on like that I don't know why and I do the magic circle. I'm using a uh, hook size four. I'm gonna do chain three. 
and two more double crochet. Chain two. We're going to create four groups of three double crochet in here to start off our center of the granny square. And two chain. So we have two groups. We need two more groups. Now, of course, you use the colors that best fit your bathroom. You don't necessarily have to use the same colors as I'm using. Because sometimes I get comments like, oh, but I can't find these colors. Well, you create what's best for you and whatever colors you can find. Or that matches your, your bathroom. Chain two. So we finished the four. I'm coming in the first one here. Of course, my stitch is always extremely tight. And these are so many threads that they almost come apart and then you just pull in the magic circle in the center now I'm going to walk over I call it the walk with a slip stitch to the center of the corner here and I'm going to create the two groups again so a single two chain because these are the corners so we'll have three two chain and three more so we're going to form the four corners the same way. Like that. I'm going to do one chain, but if your stitch is extremely tight, you can do two chain, okay? This is thick thread. For that reason, I'm doing a one chain. But if I was using my regular four ply, I would have done two chain. I'm creating another three groups, not groups, three double crochet, sorry. So now I have my two corners. I'm going to do one chain and create again the group, one chain and create the last group, and then tie in the, loose, the last uh, chain here with a slip stitch. And I'm going to cut my thread and come back with the blue. So very simple, nothing to it. I just don't want to take too much memory on my phone. Try to fit as much as I can in one video, and sometimes it's kind of hard to do. I welcome all your newcomers. There's a few of you that have made a comment that you are new and subscribed. Thank you for being here. I hope you're going to enjoy this tutorial, or all my tutorials for that matter. And I'm sure you probably will love this uh, channel because we are one growing beautiful family everybody's very supportive of everybody and that's the way we'd like to keep things we like to help each other out as much as we possibly can so thank you for being here and don't be afraid to suggest anything you'd like to see or have me create I mean we do have our friends family here that have their own requests on what they would like to to have done so feel free yourself. Okay, so I've closed in with the slip stitch and I'm going to cut my thread and I'm going to tuck in the loose end. That's, you know, it doesn't matter how at this point how we're going to tuck it. We just need to make sure we, we bring it quite a bit in so nothing comes apart. And of course I always use like the smallest little hook to get all my threads in. I'm just going to bring one more time over here because the next row it's going to cover. Okay, so now I'm going to come in with my blue. Now as far as the magic circle, you just go in the back here, especially for new, new beginners or newcomers, you know. They're not used to seeing this type of work maybe. Of course, there's so many threads here, you know. So, yeah, they're going to come apart, which is okay. No no biggie. So, I'm just going to go through a few more. And then I'm going to cut the excess off. Because once we block it, nothing's going to come apart. Okay? So, now, with the royal blue... So 
I'm going to come in the corner and create my group. And I've changed my hook. This is a 3.5 because this blue is a little bit thinner than, than the off-white or the cream, the tan color. So three double crochets, two chain, and three more double crochets. I could have simply used the four, but I'm not going to because it's going to leave me like holes, you know, since a much bigger, um, a much bigger um, um, head. My goodness, I just froze there. Okay, chain two. Couldn't get the word out. I don't know. Maybe sometimes you guys feel like that. Some days it's it's in the back of your mind and you just can't get the word out. Okay, so two chain, three double crochet, a normal granny square. I hope that most of you know how to do a granny square, right? And then we're going to create the corner again. Two chain and three more double crochet. So now we have the two corners. We've got to complete the rest. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing and then close up and then I'm changing to the green. So I've done the slip stitch knot. Now the only difference is once you've created your two and you've attached, well, I'm going to show you how we attach at the last row because we need these three attachments in order to proceed with the cover. So single one chain on this one but you can do two chain okay this is a thicker thread so i don't know what kind of thread you're going to be using i'm going to do one chain only you can do two chain if you'd like and i'm going to create the corner okay and i'm going to do one chain only and come in and create my three double crochet, one chain, and create my three double crochet. This is for the middle on top of the lid, okay? One chain, and create my corner again. Okay, let me just lower a bit the light here. I don't want it to be too bright. So now we're still in the corner. I'm going to grab back to back on the middle corner of the next one. I'm not doing any chain because this single is, is the same as we did a chain, okay? And then I'm going to complete my group, my three double crochet. I'm not going to do a chain. I'm coming directly in the first space here of the one chain in the back and I got a knot in my thread and I hate that but it is what it is and we'll try to hide it as much as we can so I'm going to continue to do the three double crochet and we hit the knot at the same time and now we're coming into the next one no chain space because the single it's as we have a chain space Try to cut my little access here and thread. Coming into the next space, create your three double crochet. So we're pretty much attaching both grannies together. Come into the last one, single, and now we're going to do the corner three double crochet. I'm not doing any chain. I'm coming into the center of the group on the corner in the back and proceed with the three double crochets. So now we've attached our granny square together. Okay. We're going to do one chain and finish creating the granny square and then cut your thread 
we're going to proceed with the rest. Now, the other flower, I think I will do a separate tutorial on it. And I'm going to put that in the front of the cover as decoration in one side. But I don't think I'll have enough space memory on my phone to be doing all of this in one video. So one chain in the corner again and create your corner and then finish your edge here and cut your thread. Okay, so now we are going to start on the corner. Just lower a bit. It's crazy lightning here. I'm going to come in with a slip stitch with your foundation color, whatever color you're using. And we're going to create the two grooves here in the corner. Single and two chain. I'm going to try to hide my thread here as much as I can. Two chain and three more double crochet. Okay, I'm going to do two chain and come into the next space. We're going to do um, little groups of three with two chain space in between them. Two chain and again. We're going to repeat this all the way around. So two chain space and three double crochets. I'm going to come in the center here and create a double crochet. I'm going to come into the next middle here between both uh, squares double crochet and another gro double crochet. So we have our, whoops, and I didn't do my chain. Not good. We have to do the chain. Cannot forget that, right? Chain two. Into the middle of the corner here, the granny. Double crochet into the middle here, double crochet. And then to the next middle of the next granny double crochet, chain two, and we're going to proceed this way all the way around. Okay, so do yours, I'll do mine, and I'll meet you at the end. I'm going to close in with the slip stitch on the third chain. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished doing, let's say, we'll say this, the first row. Okay, uh, because we are in a different color, we'll be using this color for a while. So I'll call it the first row so we don't get confused. We're going to repeat the same exact thing on row two. We're going to do our corners the same way. Three double crochet, two chain, three double crochet. And then chain two. And then we're going to work on the side and we're going to fill in the group of three double crochet, two chain and then complete your corner. So this is going to be exactly the same thing. Repeat as row one. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I finished row two. We're going to continue the row three exactly the same way again. So we're going to do the walk, I call it the walk, with a slip stitch to the center, a single, two chain, and create your corners again, your two groups of three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. So row three will be repeated 
exactly the same thing as row one and row two. Do all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so we did row three the same way and row four will also be the same way. And then row five, we're changing up a bit. So we have to get the right size of that lid. Normally it's standard for US and and Canada, I believe. Um, some and Europe, some parts of Europe, but um, some other countries like South America, it's a different size. They actually, where you flush, it's most of them are not on the front; they're on the top when you press that little button. But here in Europe, it's you know some places are the button, some places are in the front. So you have to see what's best for you. Okay, so row four, we're repeating exactly the same thing, doing the corner. And two chain into the next space, creating the three groups, the three double crochet, not groups, sorry, that one group. Two chain space again and into the next one. Now, like I said, row five, we are changing a bit. This is just for the top part, okay? Then row five, we're gonna to start to create where it falls to the sides. Going into row five, we're gonna do the walk with a slip stitch. Again, go right through to the first square here on the side. Do a single, two chain, and create your three double crochet group. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing until we reach this corner, and I'll come back to you right here just before the corner, okay? Okay, everyone, so we are here on the last one before the corner. We're going to do chain two, and this time we're not doing the corner. We're going to come directly into the other blockage because this is the corner of the tank, okay? So we're going to do the four corners the same way. We're going to skip the corner and continue to do our little three double crochet groups. Okay, it's going to be like that. So this is going to turn to come down for the walls of the tank. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing here. We're just going to jump, do our group here on this corner and jump directly into this one with a two chain and do our group here. But I'll meet you here. Okay. Okay, so now I'm on the edge. I'm on the other corner. Chain two and come in to the side of the pattern and skip the corner. We need to do these corners in order to fit into the tank so it can stay nice and firm at the edges on top of the tank. Chain two and we continue to do the same thing to the other two corners. So we'll have the four corners the same way. Okay, so it's going to be turning this way, okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I'm pretty much finished. I did my two chain and hooked up on the second chain we did from the first um, double crochet here, so single two chain that we did. So I hooked up on the second one, which is the last one. I'm going to do the walk again. And I'm coming into the little square here, doing a single two chain and create my three double crochets. I'm going to do this all the way to the other corner. And I'll come back to you at the other corner so I can show you what we're going to do with the corner. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, row six. I'll meet you at the corner. Okay, everyone. So I'm right at the corner, and what we are going to do, we're going to do one double crochet on that 
back chain we did from the corner, we're going to do one in the center of the groups here in the corner, and one in the back chain again. So we're going to create this little group here and then continue with the two chain and continue to do our groups. We're going to do the three corners that's left the same way. So we can have a nice closing on the corner there without having a big gap. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing on the other side, for the other three corners. So one in the back chain, one in the center, uh, one in the back chain, one in the center, and one in the back chain, so it can close up like that. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we finished row six. That's a little motive we did on the corner. And now we're in row seven, so I did the walk, single, two chain, and created my groups. We're going to create groups all the way around the normal way. Now, you need to measure until what length you would like the body of the tank to be. Could be 10 rows, could be 12 rows. I don't know how big. I mean, you can have it all the way down or you could have it halfway. It's up to you. And also, you need to measure. <clears throat> I'll give you an example by mine. I have 49 wide. Okay. And it was... Uh, Length, I should say, 49 length centimeters and 20 wide. Now, some tanks are a little bit thinner because of the lid. The lids stick out, so it's a little bit thicker. And some lids are just right on top. They don't come out of the tank, right? Mine comes out of the tank, so that's why it's 20 centimeters. But for you, it could be 18. You have to measure and see if you, if it takes... Um, let's say the one, two, three, four rows, or if it takes only three rows or five rows, you know, just go with the flow and keep measuring as you're going because that's exactly what I'm doing to mine. I'm testing it and continuing, coming back here doing tutorial, going back, testing it, and coming back doing tutorial. So I'm going to create this row seven and row eight the same way, and then I'm going to leave an opening on row nine for the handle, Okay, so I'll come back to you at the beginning of row nine. So I'm going to continue this row seven the same way as just, you know, the, the squares all the way around. And uh, row eight, the same thing. And then the beginning of row nine, I'll come back to you. Okay, everyone. So I finished doing row eight. And it just covers the complete top right up to the little handle where you flush the toilet, right? Now we've closed in, and this is just, you know, we have the corner, that funny stitch on the corner. So if we go straight up, we have one, two, and we closed in on the third one here. We are in row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like I said, we simply do it. Now, I put these two markers here right after the, the funny looking one here on the corner. Because this is the space where I need on my next row to do a chain, okay, for it to fit so we can have the handle sticking out of the pattern to flush the toilet, right? So you need to use two spaces. That's They're usually the same size everywhere, right? And these are pretty much standard too, even though the lid is on top or a little bit over, it just becomes a little bit thick over. But these are general, uh, normal general sizes okay so you put your two markers there and then we closed up so we're going to continue to do the little blockage on row nine and then i'll come to you when i get here to my marker so i'm going to do the walk as we normally do the walk to the next block and continue to do the little blockage okay the little groups and then once I get to that marking uh, place, I'll come back to you on it. This is row nine. Okay, so I arrived where my markers are. And we need to leave that space open. 
so the handle can go in. So I'm doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chain. And I'll see if this is enough. If not, then I'll do, okay, nine, ten. I think I'll stick with ten just to be sure. And then I'm skipping one and I'm coming in to the next one and create my three double crochets continuing the group okay because we need the handle to to go in there right it's going to be up front like this depending what side your handle is on but normally um they're on the right side if i'm facing if i'm sitting on the toilet bowl it would be like on the right side right but if I'm facing it, then it will be on the left side. So we continue on. Um, so I have to close it here. And I'm going to do the walk. We continue to do the walk. And single to chain and create your group. Okay, so I'll meet you back here again. This is row 10. Okay, you guys, so I've reached where my chain is practically. I'm going to do a chain two. I'm going to come into the first chain, and I'm going to create as I'm doing the group. Okay, so one per space, so I'm going to do three double crochet chain two I'm going to skip one two space and I'm coming into the third one and creating my three double crochet one per space chain two I'm coming right in the corner here Let me figure this out. Okay, so we're going to take those ones. We're going to do the last three ones. That means we're going to skip one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to do chain three on here and skip one, two, three on my fourth one. So on my fourth one. We're going to do the three double crochet, one per space. And then chain two and then go into the next square. And continue to do your square okay so I'll meet you actually we're right at the end so we're going to continue to do chain two coming into the third chain here and close it up with slip stitch I'm going to do the walk again into the next space, single, chain two, and create your group. So this is row 11, I believe. One, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, row 11. Chain two. Okay, so row 11, we're going to continue to create those little blockage. Then I'll come back to you at the end of the row. 
Okay. Okay, everyone. So we finished doing row 11. If I'm not mistaken, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Going into row 12, exactly the same thing. And now, after this row, I'm changing colors. So I'm going to do row 12 still with this same color. And then I'm going to do two rows of a different color. And then two more rows of a different color. Okay, so just continue to do your groups. I went to measure for the for the place here for the uh, handle of the toilet and it's just perfect i'm so happy that i managed to to get everything in properly you know sometimes it takes a little bit of patience and perseverance to get to where we want to get so never give up on your projects always find the Courage, strength to continue, and uh, and you'll succeed. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of row 12. I'm going to cut my thread and change color. Yes, I wanted to mention, I'm going to take this down, because the whiteness is more up top because of the lid. Now, because we are pretty much up to the handle that we needed that, that little space, you know, wideness, I'm only going to do one chain from here on. I'm not doing two chain. I'm going to do two because now I don't want it to flip flop. I want a perfect fit. So in order to have a perfect fit, I'm cutting down on my chain so it can be nice and flat against the ceramic of the tank. Okay. I almost forgot I had to cut down on the stitch here because I noticed it's, it's getting a little bit too wide in the bottom. It's perfect for the top in order for it to fit, but now I need it to tighten into the body of the ceramic tank. Okay, so one chain only. Okay, you guys, so I'm coming in with the blue, and I'm coming in exactly where we left off. So we closed off over here, and I'm coming in to do my single and my two chain. So basically we're always starting that same row and two chain, always one row ahead, right? So this, and it's pretty good because we won't have any marks of the stitches one after another. So it's not as visible. So one chain, we're going to continue to do this. Uh, I'm going to do um, two rows of blue and two rows of green, exactly the same. So we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So row thirteen, fourteen will be in blue, fifteen and sixteen will be in green, and I'll come back to you at the end of sixteen because it's just a repeat. Okay, so I'll see you at the end of row sixteen. Hey everyone, so I finished row 16, going into row 17. Now, row 17, 18, 18. Let me just count again. Okay, this is row 16. 17 will be with the blue. 18, 19, and 20. I'm going back to the tan color. So we have... Row until row 20 will be exactly the same thing as we've been doing. The only difference we're doing here is I'm adding now uh, two rows of blue. So row uh, 17 and 18 will be of blue. And then 19, 20, and 21 will be of the um, tan color. Okay. So we have another, until 21, we're at 16. So 17, 18 is with the blue, two more rows with the blue, and three rows of the uh, tan color, okay, until row 21. When we finish row 21, I'll come back to you again, okay? Okay, everyone, so I finished doing row 21. We're going to go into row 22, and we're almost done, okay? So now, I'm going to 
walk as we've been doing the walk. So just a reminder, I started with two rows of blue, two of green, two of blue, and three of the crane color. So I'm going to come in with a single where we have the space here. I'm going to do one, two, and three. Now it depends on everyone's tension. If your stitch is too tight, then do four chain. If it's, you know, if you give a good loosage, then do three. Again, one, two, and three into the next space. We're going to do this all the way around. And then I'm changing color to the blue. After this, we have only two rows left. Okay. So this row will just be of one, two, three chain or four chain for some of you okay and we're just doing a single inside of the spaces so we're skipping the the groups okay so i'll meet you at the end okay, so i've reached the end i'm going to come right in where i have that single with the slip stitch i'm going to cut it and come in with my blue i have only two rows left and then we're done and then just place the flowers if you wish. You don't have to put flowers, but I think it will give it a little uh, spark on the pattern. So it's up to you. I mean, you'll see once you have it done if you want to add flowers or not. So I'm just going through these loops here because next row it will hide it. And then at the end, wherever I have um, tucked in my loose ends, and if there's loose ends, like, you know, I've cut in some thread starting, I'm going to put a dip of hot gun glue just to make sure that nothing comes apart. Okay, so that's a little trick for you to make sure that your patterns stay together. So everywhere I'll have these little extra thread coming out, you know, I'm going to hot glue gun glue it just a little dip okay with the blue now okay so i'm gonna start right from basically the edge here on the corner and i'm gonna come in with a single and any of the loops that you would like and do one two and three Y3 single into chain would be a double crochet and then one chain for space. So I'm going to come back in and do double crochet, one chain. I'm going to do six times with space of one chain. So we have two, four, five. So we have six double crochets, one chain space. I'm coming into the next loop, next space, single. Next loop, we're going to continue to do the double, the six double crochets separated space of one chain and this will be the whole row like this all the way around and then i'm cutting the thread and coming in with the green two four five and six next space directly single okay so we'll have it like that and then, of course, we're going to touch it here at the end. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So last row, row 24. Coming in with my green, I did my slip stitch knot. I'm going to come in between the first and second double crochet. Next space, single, two, 
third space single, chain three, and back into the same space, single. Next space, single. Next space, single. I'm going to come in from the side here and close it up like that. So I'm going to redo it again. So we did our last thing on the last space here. Now if you want to do a picot, you can. So from the side to side, front post, single, into the first space again, single, second space, single, and the third space, single, with chain three, back into the same space with a single. And we repeat the same thing. So we're going to do this all the way to the end. I'm going to come behind the blue here on this side. Front post. And in between the first and second, oops, double crochet, single, next space, single. And on the third one, single, and one, two, and three. And come back in with the single. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So pretty much finished the edge. I have my hot gun, and I decided to go with the margarita flower. Now, if you want to check out my flowers on my playlist, you can go to flowers or leaves. And I'm just going to put a bit. We don't need to put too much. Okay. Just going to. A little bit here just to get it secure and that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and you're going to create it and especially for the people that have requested so many times for me to uh, create the tank for the the cover for the tank of the bathroom. So I hope you guys are going to create it after all of the requesting. And I want to thank every single one of you. So I'll have the pictures at display at the end. Once I'm done with it, I'll put it in the toilet and take some pictures and you can see. So I wanted to contrast and break a bit of the color to give it a little bit of spike up. Thank you, everybody. Don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. Share with your family and friends. Put on your Facebook public. And let me know what you think of it or request what would you like to see me make. Okay, thank you everyone. Big hugs and take care of yourselves and each other. Until next time. Bye-bye.